Hi there, welcome back. If you are following my channel, you know that I have created many templates for DaVinci Resolve. Once you download and unzip the file, you will see two files in the folder. One with the extension DIFX, and the other with extension setting. The setting file is the source file of the Fusion Effect composition, you can open it with any text editor. If you copy all text content, and paste into the Fusion node editor, a group node is added to the editor. Double click to open the group, and you will find all the nodes used for making the effect. Similarly, if we copy a node in the Fusion node editor, and paste to the text editor, we will get a plain text version of the composition. The DIFX file is used to bundle multiple templates in one file for easy distribution. In most of my downloads, the DRFX file contains only one template because of the way I work. The DRFX bundle is basically a compressed version of the template source files and the folder structure, that's why the size is much smaller than the setting file. If we change the extension from DRFX to zip, we can unzip it and check the original folders and files. For example, this showcase zoom is an effect template, and it's put inside a subfolder, Essential Effects. In order to use Fusion templates in DaVinci Resolve, the setting files must be in the proper folders. An effect template must be put in the effects folder, and a generator template must be in the generators folder, and so on. A DRFX bundle makes it easier for us to import the templates created by others, we simply double-click the file to start the installation, and there's no need to manage the template folder and subfolders. Once it's done, the effect will be available in the Effects panel. When a template is installed using the DRFX package, it will appear in the folder structure defined by the creator. In this case the effect is inside the folder, Essential Effects. If you want to organize the templates in your own folders, you can copy the setting file to your template folder. Let's say I want to put all custom effect templates in a folder called custom effects. We'll need to go to the template folder and create the folder structure as shown here. There are two ways we can navigate to the template folder. One way is using File Explorer in Windows or Finder in Mac OS. Go to the folder as shown on the screen. Another way is going through the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. Open the Effects panel. Right-click the Template folder, select Show Folder. This will take us to the Template folder in File Explorer in Windows or Finder in Mac. We see the DRFX file in this folder, as we just installed it a few minutes ago. The showcase zoom effect is a template that will be used in the edit page, we need to set up the folder structure properly. Because it's a fresh installation of DaVinci Resolve, there is no folder or files in the templates folder, other than the only template bundle we just installed. We can either create subfolders here manually, or go back to the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. Expand the templates folder, right-click edit, select show folder. This will create the edit subfolder, if it does not exist in the template folder. In the Fusion page, right-click the Effects folder, select Show folder. We now have an Effects folder automatically created by DaVinci Resolve. Inside the Effects folder, create another folder called Custom Effects. Copy the showcase zoom setting file and paste into the custom effects folder. Now in the Fusion page, we have a new subfolder called custom effects with the showcase zoom effect template inside. If we go to the edit page, this new folder also appears in the effects panel. Even though we don't have the physical folder, Essential Effects, in the file system, we still see the folder inside DaVinci Resolve. 
because when templates are installed with the DIFX bundle, DaVinci Resolve translates the templates visually in the folders set by the bundle. As mentioned earlier, a DRFX package can bundle multiple templates in one file. For example, I have packaged all the essential templates in this bundle. After it's unzipped, there are two files of the same size. Because they are just copy of each other with different names. If you decompress the zip file, you will find a complete edit template folder structure with all templates organized properly in the right folders. Unless you want to organize your own template structure, I would not recommend using this file. Instead, we simply double click the DRFX bundle file to install the templates into DaVinci Resolve. Going back to DaVinci Resolve, we now have all the templates properly organized and available in the effects panel. If we go to the templates folder, we can see the package bundle file is installed here. In this example, the showcase zoom effect is also part of the bundle package. It's now showing twice in the effects panel. To delete the individual template, we go to the templates folder, delete showcase zoom bundle file. Now we have only one showcase zoom effect template inside the effects panel. There are times we want to update a template or a template bundle because the creators can add new features or fix issues in the templates at a later time. In this case, we should always delete the old templates from DaVinci Resolve before importing the new versions. Otherwise, these templates will be duplicated and may cause some templates not functional. For example, there is a new package bundle update this year. Before we install the bundle file, we go to the templates folder and delete the old package. Check the DaVinci Resolve effect panel, all the templates are gone. Unzip the downloaded file. Double click the DRFX template bundle file Confirm to install. Once it's done, all the templates are back in the effects panel and organized in the right folders. We now have the template bundle upgraded to the latest version. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.